Hello, I'm Benjamin Godovic. I'm a PhD student from the Lyon University, and today I will present you my work, which is also part of the Interreg France Switzerland project, uh, G2 Solar. Um, the main objective of this project is to implement a new version of solar cluster, including not only horizontal facade but uh, verticality as well. So, actually, the the objective of this uh, work is double. The first is to demonstrate the necessity to use local uh, weather measurements, and the second one is to um, evaluate the accuracy of two PV production models. So, um, to simulate the urban uh, environment, I use the software NVMet which is a microclimate modeling software. And for the input data, I use either uh, typical day uh, weather or on-site measurements. And in, uh, in the end, I implement the two PV production models. On the two figures, you can see on the left side uh, the results with the weather of typical day as input data and uh, on the right side the uh, results with on-site measurements as input data. So we can see a difference between both cases but in terms of energy the difference is quite low because we have a prediction of energy production of about 15% uh, difference between the two cases, but in terms of power, which is needed for, uh, for example, DSO or TSO, or better prediction of energy production, we can see that the difference is much higher. And if we focus on the, the case of the local measurements, we can see that the, both models match with the measurements, especially for high irradiation, but still for the low irradiation level, the response of these two models are less accurate.